G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today, I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way of solving a set of simultaneous equations. And I can guarantee you, this will not be a way that you'll ever be taught in school. Your teacher will not even know this way exists. But I tell you, it's a really, really easy way of doing this. So let's just start with an example here. We have a set of simultaneous equations, a pair of simultaneous equations. We have 3x plus 2y is equal to 18, and 2x plus 5y is equal to 23. And we're going to be solving for both x and for y. So how do we do this? We're going to start by solving for x here. Uh, so x, x is equal to. Now, the first thing we're going to do for this particular trick is we are going to choose the coefficients for one of our y values to solve this. So we have 2y and we have 5y. We can choose either one. I'm going to choose 5y. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of cross multiplication. You'll see this pattern and you'll get used to it very easily. So first off, we have 5 and we're going to multiply that crossways by the answer on the other question. So 5 multiplied by 18, this is equal to 90. And from this, we're going to take away well, we're going to do the opposite bit of cross multiplication. That is 2y, or 2, multiplied by 23. 2 multiplied by 23, this is 46. All right, we can work that out in a second what that is, but we'll just set up the next part of what we're going to do. So now what we're going to do is we are we're going to do a bit of cross multiplication going back the other way. We have 5, and we're going to multiply that by the coefficient of our x value up here. We have 3 times 5, 5 times 3, which is equal to 15. And from that, we're going to take away, you guessed it, we have 2 multiplied by 2, this is equal to 4. So, what do we have here? Well, we've almost got our answer. 90 minus 46 is equal to 44, and this is all being divided by 15 take away 4, which is equal to 11. We're left with 44 divided by 11, x is equal to 4. There you go, nice and simple, this pattern works all the time. So... How are we going to go through now and solve for y? Well, pretty simply, we're just going to substitute in our x value and now solve. So let's do that. We're going to be working out what y is equal to. So let's go substitute x equals 4 into the first equation. So 3x plus 2y equals 18. So 3 times x is equal to 3 times 4, which is equal to 12. We have 12 plus 2y is equal to 18. So if we take 12 from both sides, we have 2y. Well, we'll take 12 off this side, we get rid of that, and 18 take away 12 is equal to 6. 2y is equal to 6, therefore y is equal to 6 divided by 2, y is equal to 3. And there you have it. That is the easiest way of going through and solving simultaneous equations. And once you start doing these a few times, you'll get really, really quick at it. You'll be able to do this in like a matter of seconds. So, what did you think of this? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please remember, give us a big thumbs up. But what about we have a look at another example? We'll have a look at two more examples just to get you used to these. All right, so let's have a look at our second example here. We have 5x plus 2y is equal to 14. And a second equation, 2x minus 3y is equal to 17. And once again, we're going to be solving for x and for y. Let's go through and solve this using exactly the same pattern that we used before. Now, these answers are going to get a little bit harder but the actual pattern's the same. So the actual process is no harder at all. So we, first off, we're going to be solving for x. x is equal to, and we choose once again one of these y values here. This, this time, choose the one at the top. We have 2y. So first off, let's do that cross multiplication. We have 2 multiplied by 17. That is equal to 34. And from this, we're going to subtract. Well, we have 14 multiplied by negative 3. So negative 3 multiplied by 14, that's going to be negative 42. So I'm just going to leave that like that. We all know that if we take away a negative from a negative, we're going to end up getting a positive there. So this is all going to go over. Let's now do the other cross multiplication. This time we we're starting at the top here, so we're going to start at the top once again. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and from this we're going to subtract negative 3 multiply by 5, which is negative 15. So once again, a negative being subtracted from something becomes a positive. So we have 4 plus 15. Let's go through and solve now. We have 34 plus 42. This is equal to 76. And this all goes over 4 plus 15, which is 19. So 76 divided by 19, this is equal to 4. Once again, x is equal to 4. 
So now let's go through and solve for y. How do we do that? Well, once again, we're going to substitute in our x values. So if we substitute x equals 4 into the first equation here, we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 14. 5x becomes 20. So y is going to be equal to, well, we have 20 plus 2y is equal to 14. If we take 20 from both sides here, we take 20 off this side, we're going to be left with just 2y. And this is equal to 14 subtract 20, which is negative 6. All right, if 2y is equal to negative 6, y is going to be equal to negative 6 divided by 2. y is equal to negative 3. So how'd you go with that one, okay? Hopefully you went pretty well. If you did, awesome. Give yourself a big thumbs up and write something nice about yourself in the comments. Let's now have a look at the third example. And if you get this one, you're gonna write something absolutely tremendous about yourself in the comments. Let's go through and solve this one. So first off we have 3x plus 3y is equal to seven, 6x minus 2y is equal to negative two, and once again, we're gonna be solving for x and for y. And I'm gonna tell you, this answer here is gonna look a little bit, uh, a bit more gnarly, but I'll tell you what, the process is exactly the same. So let's go through and solve. First off, we're gonna solve what x is equal to. So we just choose one of these y values here. You choose whichever one you like, maybe you go through and solve it. But I'm gonna be running through this answer here. So I'm gonna choose any, many, many, da, 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 da. I'm gonna choose this one right here. So let's do this bit of cross multiplication. We have negative two multiplied by seven is equal to negative 14. And from this, we're going to subtract. We have three multiplied by negative two. Three multiplied by negative two is negative six. So negative 14 minus minus six. So this is going to become negative 14 plus six. We're gonna put that all over. Let's do that bit of cross multiplication for the other part, for our x's now. We have minus two multiplied by three. This is minus six. And from this, we're gonna be subtracting. We have three multiplied by six. This is 18. Let's go through and finish this off. All right, so minus 14 plus six, this is going to be equal to minus eight. And this is going over negative six minus 18. Be very careful here, this is negative 24. So the negatives can cancel each other out, but we're left with eight over 24. This is equal to one over three. So how'd you go with that one? Did you get that one correct so far? Well, don't get too busy writing yourself a nice comment yet. Let's see how you went for the y value. We're going to do that once again by substituting in to one of these equations here. So if x equals a third, let's substitute into this first equation. 3 times x is going to equal 1. So we have 1 plus 3y is equal to 7. All right, so take 1 from both sides. We have 3y is equal to, well, take 1 from both sides. 7 take 1 is 6. Therefore, y is going to be equal to 2. That is, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And there you have it. x equals a third and y equals 2. Did you get those all correct? Let me know in the comments how you went. All right? And if you did, remember, give yourself a big thumbs up by hitting the thumbs up down there. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you know, you know what to do anyway. So anyway, if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And maybe you could consider becoming a patron of my channel. There is a link in the description. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.